I'm honored to receive the Leopold Award and, and feel the real privilege to be selected and being able to show others what, what I've done here to achieve that award. Uh, we farm and ranch. We're up six miles up Chalk Creek Road. And we, right now we're running cows. I run sheep for most of my life and we put up hay crops here for the cattle and sheep. We have 850 acres and 43 acres irrigated. And we've gone to the pivots now. Before we used to have to go up and dam it off and, and we'd block off South Fork. And there's concern about the Bonneville trout and not being able to navigate up the stream and migrate. Now we've took the dam out, we've got the pivots, and we pump out of this out of Chalk Creek. We had to change our diversion, and the pivots is a lot more efficient than the wayward flood water and even the hand lines. It's important to have your family work together, especially when you get putting in fences and putting up hay. And right now we'll be cutting out calves, and Wit will be gathering the calves. And we're Galen here and, and Whit has helped me a lot during the last few years uh, as a family to, to make this work. I think this ranch will continue to, to go. Uh, Richens has always been farmers. Uh, there's going to be an impact on water as housing develops. Uh, we've seen that down south. We see that everywhere. As far as this land goes, it'll, it'll more than likely continue to be a farmer and continue to grow crops and uh, cattle. I think ranching is is uh, both a way of life and a business. Uh, if you don't treat it as a business, you won't have a ranch anymore, in my opinion. Uh, it, it's a way of life for me, and I feel blessed to have it as my way of life, and the values that it teaches me in both the ranching and the business end. I love the ranching and farming uh, way of life that, that it provides for me and my family. I have an inner drive to try to raise the best animals I can, and I feel the same way about raising crops and protecting this stream. It all started, I had a stream bank up here, it was really eroded. That stream needed to be fixed because of the erosion. With it. The stream would have kept taking more soil off the bank. And uh, I remember putting it in and wasn't inclined to put the fence in. I didn't feel that it was good, but I, it's become a real asset. And I saw the results and what the fence done. The fence is like a kind of like a band-aid on your finger. It protects you, protects the cut. Uh, I've been so sold on it. I got the whole stream fence on both sides. And I think if I had just one practice to work with, I'd probably choose the fencing. The process of conservation to me was, was learning what to do. I, uh, I didn't really understand all I, that I should have done at the, at the start, but after seeing the first project and seeing what happened on that demonstration project by uh, putting in the jetties, planting trees and willows and fencing it, and it took a few years to, to see the results. But, that kind of sold me on the conservation and protecting the, the stream and, and even my uh, land. So on these projects, I think it's important to take before pictures and later on, sometimes it takes 10 years or so so you see real results. But if you don't take before pictures and try to describe it to somebody, it's hard to do. But if you got a before picture, it's a lot easier. In a big watershed project, uh, where you're relying on voluntary participation from a lot of different landowners, sometimes it's hard to get started. And it's important that you find one uh, person who will be an innovator or a leader, uh, an early adopter. And Gerald was that person in Chalk Creek. Even though he had some misgivings about the practices that we're recommending about fencing off the stream and planting the willows and the stream bank protection. Uh, he was willing to try it 
and it turned out great. And he ended up being our best salesman and a good promoter for the conservation work. I found that if, as far as these animals go, if you take care of them, they'll take care of you. I feel the same way about the, the farming here in the stream. If I take care of it, it'll take care of me.